Hey guys, it's Andrew Cartwright. Wow, so much is going on. I have to say my name ahead of time. You know, I spoke at the Metaverse uh, conference and I didn't even introduce myself. I just started talking. I don't know whether that's just stupid or cocky. Like I, I knew everybody knew me. Anyway, you, you know me, so you know I'm not that way. I just screwed up, but everybody was asking at the end, what's your name? After speaking to thousands of people. At any rate, we've got $350 rebates we're going to talk about for adults. We got $200 for that payments are going out. Lawmakers have passed that. And another one, spending billions of dollars in federal stimulus money. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are doing well. We talk about four stimulus check, unemployment, what's happening in Washington, D.C., around the world, the economy, stocks, all about your personal finance. So please consider subscribing to the channel. Join us as we you know roll through all the punches in the world as well as um like the video it helps out with the youtube algorithm and throw a comment in the comment section boy does that help out a lot it really helps so please check check all that stuff out in the description six free stocks when you fund your account for a penny also i got my real estate program a hundred dollars limited time offer for the weekend um thousand dollar program normally i spend forty thousand dollars on my education for this real estate stuff plus a 45 million dollars in experience when to buy how to buy market cycles even how to not even use your own credit or money it's all in the program 36 videos they're amazing plus a resource list it's you know like 30 years of my knowledge in it so it's super cheap for you get the experience of all that for like 99 dollars. obviously it's not to make me rich it's just if you don't pay for stuff, you don't finish it. So I find when people paid $1,000 for the program, they finished it. And when they spend 99, they watch a couple videos. So it's kind of a weird mix. So let's get into this. We've got some really cool stuff. Um, $350 rebates. We got a $200. We've got another spending billions. I don't know if you've seen this before we get into all the stories. Boris Johnson resigns, one-liner, breaks the internet, meaning it went viral. Yes, Boris Johnson has, I mean, it's amazing. Ukraine, there's a war in Ukraine. There's um, what's happening in Russia. Then we have Japan, the ex-prime ministers, the Yakuza takes him out, assassinated him a few days ago. And then we've got these protests. And have you seen this? Sri Lanka literally they they like overturned the they just protested coming after it's demonstrators crazy. broke into the official home of sri lanka's president calling for him to resign over the country's worsening economic crisis officials say more than a hundred thousand protesters surrounded that building with video showing people breaking through police barriers and as you see there swimming in the residents pool in the president's let's go now to pool. cnn's vidika sood who is live in new delhi vidika uh, do we know where the president is do we know if he's safe Jessica, we don't know where the president of Sri Lanka is at the moment. That is news that the officials I think are not ready too. to give out at this point in time. But what we do know, Jessica, is that he wasn't at the presidential palace when more than 100,000 of these protesters who had converged outside the presidential palace and the secretariat stormed into his residence. You've seen those visuals. These are unprecedented protests we're seeing. People from all over Sri Lanka no, converged it's, it's Saturday morning crazy. and they Can have been been protesting. Stuff? I mean, it's just the, I mean, so many things are just absolutely crazy. You know, I'm committed to helping you out with your finances. Um, please, we're, we're finding companies. People are Instagramming me, believe it or not. We've got quite a few apartments between 20 to 40 units as well as uh, parks as well you know parks for it uh, just amazing so make sure you keep those coming we're looking to buy businesses together um, I'll put up the funding you put up the hard work and let's get rolling on these programs check me out in the metaverse uh, I'll be there today again but first Ohio Democrat um, goober gubernation candidate and I don't know what gubernation is so You'll have to forgive me on that one. You probably, if you know what that is, what a goober nation is, please uh, put it in the comments. Nan Wally has proposed what she calls a $350 rebate to every adult in Ohio who qualified for stimulus checks. These programs, there's $850 billion, as I've said. There's going to be programs all the way to 2028, so stay tuned. Uh, the money 
would would come from more than 2.4 billion in that American Rescue Plan Act money coming to Ohio. She said it doesn't have to wait for the election. Whaley said, "quote I think this is something we can we should do right now. Uh, this isn't something r- like I'm saying. Hey, wait till I get in office. It's like Mike DeWine should do this right now." End quote. He continued by saying, "quote We've seen before where we've had press conferences like on baby formula where we make a press conference and suddenly it happens. So here's a way to make policy happen. It should happen right away, right now, and that's what we're calling on the government to do. This is end quote. What are your thoughts on this? What do you think? Do you think uh, they should do it? And if somebody's running, why not just pressure the guy to do what he should do? or she should do, and the election's the election. Meanwhile, with gas prices setting record, record highs every day, a group of lawmakers in one state want to give residents some relief at the pump. A group of North Carolina state senators have proposed getting every licensed driver, adult driver in North Carolina, a one-time payment of $200 to apply towards rising gas prices. To qualify, the person must be a licensed driver residing in North Carolina and be at least 18 years old as of March 31st. So as of March 31st, if you're 18 years old, I was thinking about the Formula One race today. What an incredible race. A lot of action in Formula One. If you don't watch it, it is getting pretty exciting, really exciting. The national average price, though, on gas is $4.71 Thursday, up from $4.60 a week ago and uh, $3.04 a year ago or less if you actually follow it. I know the news that kind of seems to be lower. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. We've got like the North Carolina measure that like this one in many other states, gas tax rebates of 2022 would be funded by spending 1.3 billion. Can you believe it? It's that much money and roughly 4.24 billion in surplus revenue collected by the state. As inflation went up, prices went up, tax revenue went up. Now they got extra money. If passed, the bill would become effective July 1st, So, and rebates would be out on October 1st. So we're waiting. It's been a few days. Uh, they should announce it any day. Finally, Pennsylvania lawmakers agreed to plan $2.2 billion in remaining federal funds money for the pandemic on housing, conservation, and child care programs, three different areas to help everybody. The agreement came as the state finalized the $45.2 billion budget a week after the deadline. I've been covering this. We've been covering the checks, the $2,000 checks, all this stuff happening in Pennsylvania. None of the money will be used for direct payments to Pennsylvanians. As the Democratic governor, Tom Wolf, had called for instead spotlighting uh, Pennsylvania's identified 20 programs that would fund using the stimulus dollars. Here's an overview of the spending. A total of 640 million of the biggest chunk of the money in spending will be go, go to conservation efforts that include ensuring clean water for state residents, the rehabilitation and repair of state parks, and maintaining water and sewer systems. So quality of life stuff. Of that, 320 million will be um, transferred to pre-existing state programs that help water authorities big and small with drinking water and storm sewer projects, flood control projects, as well as repairing unsafe dams. Another 220 million will fund efforts to preserve farmland and clean up farm and mine off uh, runoffs with that harm state water supplies. And finally, the budget provides 100 million for the rehabilitation and repair of development of state parks and forests. How many of you live in Pennsylvania? I'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think about the budget. And I know you must be disappointed as why did the governor keep talking about a $2,000 check and then not come through? It's pretty frustrating, right? July 9th, 2022. Take care. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Please keep tuning in. I appreciate you guys. It's Saturday, a beautiful Saturday here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I hope you're doing fine. I'll see you at the Metaverse. I saw lots of you yesterday, and I hope to see a bunch of you there again today at the Metaverse Expo at the Convention Center South Hall. Take care.